Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Stone and this is your writing lesson for today. You're going to need page four and hopefully um, you have three note cards at home, like three index cards at home. If not, then all you need to do is take a regular piece of paper and to actually physically cut it into three um, pieces so that I can explain to you um, I want three separate parts. So. Here's what page four looks like, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this chart into my three note cards. And my three note cards are, on the first note card, I'm putting the introduction and the conclusion together, okay? And on that, I'm supposed to state what my two reasons are. So there's reason one and reason two. And then if you look down the bottom box on page four, you're going to see that there's on your paper you at least have to have one golden brick It's required and we talked about golden bricks in class the other day so I'm gonna put my golden brick on this first card on the second card I'm going to devote completely to my first reason and then on my third note card I'm going to devote completely to my second reason so this is how I want your three note cards set up so what I want you to do is I actually want you to physically write down introduction conclusion and then charity and then write this now I wrote on mine already because my charity that I'm going for is going to be for Penelope and Percy's home for wayward pigs which you know is a silly charity but um, I wanted to make sure nobody could use my things and it's on animals and it's a silly one so there you go so this is what I want your three to look so on your card where I have Penelope and Percy's home for wayward pigs you're going to put the name of your charity on that note card. So I'm going to go through these with you, and I'm going to show you how I want your note cards done. Now, something very important about note cards. Note cards, um, when you're taking research, in order to prevent plagiarism, plagiarism is when you directly copy something from somebody else, and you take it credit as your own. You don't give them the credit. You, you pretend or you um, say that it's your own writing. And so when you take notes with note cards, it will help you to write your notes in what we call bullet points. You're not going to use complete sentences on your note cards. I don't want you to use complete sentences on your note cards. And as a matter of fact, you'll probably get points taken off if you do use complete sentences on your note cards. So you're going to write bullet points on the research that you are finding um, that you're going to be doing for the rest of the the week. So these are your note cards and let's take a look at the first one. So on mine, when I did my research, I found that Penelope and Percy's Home for Wayward Pigs, the two things that they provide for wayward pigs is reason one, they provide food and shelter, and reason two, they provide job training. All right. So what I have done is I have taken and put down on reason one, provide food and shelter. Now you'll notice on note card number two, where it says reason one, I've written provide food and shelter at the top of that card. And so on reason two, I have put down provide job training. And so on note card number three, where it says reason two, I've put down provide job training. So those are how I'm going to set up my three note cards. Now you're not going to be able to um, you probably already have a good handle on what your charity does. And so you need to pick out the two main, most important um, services, okay, that your charity provides for others. These are the ones that mine provide. So let's talk about this. And what I've done is when I, as I've researched, okay, I find that under reason one, provide food and shelter. I put as much as I want to on that card because when you go to write your paper, you're going to pick out or maybe combine some of your uh, findings into one complete, um, really juicy sentence. And so when I was doing my research for the Home for the Wayward Pigs and I said my reason one is provide food and shelter, I noticed that one of the things that they do is they provide three balanced meals a day of corn and slop for free. They donate, these uh, meals are donated items from local farmers. The pig pens are clean with hay. There's temperature control for cold nights and there's mud warmers. Now I know this is very silly, but 
but I want you to have, I want to have fun doing this. So there are five different things that I've written underneath to provide food and shelter. Now you'll notice that they're bullet points. They're not all complete sentences. I don't want them to be. So when I go to transfer this over to my chart, I'm going to take some of those, combine them, and make some really good sentences, okay, um, for my paper. So that's my reason one. So what I did is on reason two, all right, when I was doing my research, I found, well, actually, when I was doing my research for reason one, I found my golden brick that I decided to use. And so then I went back to card one, and I wrote my golden brick down. So I found my golden brick would say, Penelope and Percy saved my life. They helped me to stay alive while training me to become more than a homeless pig. I would not be where I am today without them. And the quote is from Babe from Charlotte's Web. All right. So when I write my paper, there's my golden brick that I'm going to use in my paper. So I don't have to go searching for it. I don't have to try to come up with something later. While I was doing my research, I found that golden brick and I decided to write it down. As so you're going to write it down on card one. Now, let's go to reason two, provide job training. So when I did my research, I found out that uh, Penelope and Percy helped them with resumes. Resume is something that you write up about your experience and stuff, and that's what you send to businesses and stuff for them to look at. To look at. They help with the job search, and they help to train for circuses or petting zoos um, to keep them out of the bacon factory. So here is my reason two. So what I had done is when I researched, I found all of these answers, but I was able to put them on three separate cards. Now you have to do this like this because it's going to transfer over to your chart on page four, and you're going to do that on, I think, Thursday. But I wanted to make sure you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about note-taking. Note-taking is um, bullet points, not complete sentences. You need to, we're, I'm showing you the very simple part now because when we get to the research paper um, that comes uh, after Christmas, you're going to be taking note card notes just like this, and it's going to be a little bit um, more complicated. So let's, we're going to break it down fairly easily for this charity uh, paper, and so you're going to be able to write. So I should be able to take these three cards and write my complete letter about my charity off of these three note cards. And so that's what I want you to do. I want you to be able to have enough information on these note cards, okay, that you don't have to go back and find research when you start writing. If you run out of room on the front side, just flip the note card over and use the back side. Okay, now, the important thing is that you will need to turn in these note cards or these pieces of paper or whatever with your final paper, along with page four when you fill it in. So I wanted to make sure you knew how to do it. Well, there is my charity. Penelope and Percy's Home for Wayward Pigs, and I hope you enjoy writing and researching about your charity, and don't forget to keep collecting those coins and turn them in, and um, we've had a great start so far. Um, about half of my jar is filled so far, so that's a good sign. So have a uh, great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.